friends now we are start our today's class the subject of geography and as you know we learned the chapter of water resources and uh, our today's topic is demand of water irrigation our yesterday topic uh, was uh, the water utilization as you know that and uh, right now we move to our uh, water demand and utilization is our uh, yesterday's chapter uh, yesterday's topic uh, so now we are move to our today's topic which is demand of water irrigations so today we look about uh, in uh, irrigation uh, process especially agriculture sector how to water uh, use and uh, in which manners so students we are start our today's class in agriculture water is mainly used for irrigation as you know that because india is a very vast country and there are lots of uh, areas where uh, precipitation is very low so in agriculture sector water demand is very high but uh, there are not fulfilled by uh, fulfilled by precipitation so there we found a new methods which is irrigation uh, process then students uh, it is our uh, topic how to the irrigation process start and when it start how to start and how to create in the this sector agriculture sector because uh, in yesterday we are learned that uh, lots of uh, sources of water used in irrigations and um, uh, approximately 89% 90% water ground water uh, resources and, and surface water resources used in agriculture sectors so that is now we that the large tracts of the country are deficient in rainfall and drought rainfall in rainfall are drought prone so uh, northwestern india and deccan plateau constitute as such a area winter and summer seasons are more than less dry and most of uh, most part of the country that's why there are uh, water demands which is fulfilled by irrigation methods and uh, if we see that the irrigation irrigation methods which is fulfilled by uh, the help of dams it is very important and pandit nehru also was uh, said that the dams of the new temples of india so provision of irrigation makes multiple cropping possible after when uh, when uh, be the process of irrigation when we adopt the process of irrigation so we can start the multiple cropping in multiple uh, areas and uh, it has also been found that irrigated lands have higher agriculture productivity especially irrigation demands increase when uh, we start green uh, revolution you know that and uh, when after the when we uh, make a dams and uh, we use the technologies you must to to see that there are high agriculture productivity in unirrigated land further the high yielding varieties of crops need to regular moisture uh, high yielding varieties crops uh, come after green revolution and it is the scenario sure. after 60s uh, uh, decades it means after 60s uh, decades or 60 60 70 decades we adopted the green revolution and we uses multi cropping uh, methods and high yielding uh, variety seeds so we heavy needs to water and it is uh, fulfilled by irrigation uh, fulfilled by dams uh, and why you why we need to water for irrigate, irrigated for our uh, agric agricultural land so uh, now our question is uh, which areas are very important or which areas are uh, to needs about the irrigation irrigations it is especially western up punjab haryana that's all uh, areas to want to more than irrigated uh, more uh, more more than you uh, want to irrigate irrigation and there are also uh, lots of uh, rivers are provided but uh, some areas where are uh, precipitations and low the rivers uh, water are not Uh, going there, so that's when we uh, that's when to fulfill uh, the irrigation methods. We uh, use two canals, and uh, the help of canals, we uh, send their waters, and the lands are irrigated. And it is especially uh, the lands of in Punjab, Haryana, and Western Uttar Pradesh, more than eighty-five percent uh, of their net sown areas are under irrigations. Wheat and rice and are uh, grown mainly with the help of irrigations. This is state. There are especially uh the uh, the crops which is uh, produ produced by farmer is wheat and rice it is a main crops of these lands punjab and 
वेस्टर्न यूपी उत्तर प्रदेश ऑफ द टोटल नेट इरीगेटेड एरिया सेवेंटी इन पंजाब एंड फिफ्टी इन हरियाणा इरीगेटेड थ्रू वेल्स एंड ट्यूबवेल्स जस्टरडे lectures uh, i told you the ground water source when we uh, learned the ground water source is especially tubes uh, tube wells and wells so near about uh, 76.1% uh, areas of punjab and uh, 51.3% area areas of haryana irrigated by these ground water resources and uh, used to tube wells and uh, wells this shown that the state utilizes uh, large proportion of the ground water potential which has resulted in ground water depletion in these states it means the ground water sources are completely uh, uh, ruined or completely uh, it, uh, just like say that it is which is very very important for these areas to